Hi everyone and welcome back. Today we're doing a turquoise tutorial for you and I actually posted about it and I have everybody vote and this is the actual post that I put up and everybody said that their favorite was number two so that's the one we'll be doing. Well I can't say everybody. Some voted number one or three because Prismas, everybody loves them. Um, personally I think that this gives it a more realistic feel than Prismos, but that's a personal thing. Anyway, the majority of votes were number two, and so that's what we're going to do today. Um, I'm using Marco Rafines, which is an oil-based pencil, and I have all of the colors here for you. I have the 72 set, so the whole set, so that's what we'll be using. Um, I like oil-based pencils because you can get a lot of layers out of them and they're fairly translucent which I think gives the feeling of depth in a gem. So what we're going to start out with is wherever you're on your page or whatnot. If you're on a coloring page or if you just want to draw a shape, any shape will actually work and I just like ones that kind of look organic and more like rocks, I guess. Um, we're going to start with 570, which is black, and we're going to make some cracks in our turquoise because I've seen very few pieces of turquoise that actually have no cracks in them, but there are such things, so you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Um, you can definitely use any kind of colors you want, honestly. I just try and make mine look uh, realistic, I guess. Um, it's kind of what I like to go for. We're as close to realistic as I can get. Lord knows that I'm not perfect. Um, I like to think of, of the cracks as like uh, little tree branches, which means they go straight a lot of the times and then just kind of jerk to the sides. Um, yeah, that one looks a little weird, but that's okay. Uh, there we go. If you want, you can put some down the edges, I guess. That looks pretty good. Right? Yeah. Alright, so, there. I like my little cracks. Um, I've already chosen that I'd like my light hitting from this direction. And so since this is a stone and this is not a translucent gem, it's not going to hit in one side and come out the other. So the light sources, if you've watched my other videos, the light source tells you where the highlights will kind of be. And then you're going to have a shadow on the opposite edge, whereas with gems it's a little bit different. So, next we're going to move on to... Are yellows. Um, I have 503, which is kind of a highlighter yellow almost. And the yellows go under the blues because these are very translucent pencils and you can do the layers. And so they kind of show up as greens and discolorations inside the stone. And I don't have a map for this. I kind of like to put them around the cracks because I think the cracks is kind of where the turquoise goes up and down a little bit, um, being a stone. And then the other one that I have is 552, which is more of a gold-ish type yellow. And I really like it. I think it's very earthy in the way that it is. And so I'm just like I said, I'm just kind of putting this wherever. I tend to stay near the cracks. Um, that's just a personal thing. Maybe put it over here. I might go back and put some yellow up here. I don't know. Maybe. Um, since that's where I'm going to have my light is type colors. Um, now we're going to go into my lighter blues. Now, I have lighter options and darker ones as well. Um, so you just vary the types of blues to the kind of turquoise that you want to create. Um, 
going back to the post that I originally did, this is using the lighter options of the lighter colors in the layers. And I think it I think it looks really good, but that one was my favorite, according to everybody else's this one. So if you want to go darker and you don't feel like I go dark enough, of course, use whatever colors you want. That's a darker option for you. Um, but, I mean, you could put purples in here if you wanted to. Um, so we're going to go with one of the lighter colors, which is 537 that I have that I'm using. And I'm going to go over the entire stone. Um, and it doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be a layer. Um, it doesn't even have to be blended or anything like that. I'm actually not even using a blender um, during this tutorial at all. Uh, I think it looks, it gives it a more natural feel. Um, there's no reason for that for me, honestly, other than that. If you want to use a blender to like blend out some of these colors or you think that the yellows are too strong and you want to make them blend in more or even to try and lift up some of that color, go for it. You know, make your turquoise to your liking. My way is not the end all beat all way. You can do whatever you would like. Okay, I'm going to my next color now which is 535 it's a very bright color and it's this one over here I'm not going in order as you can see and again I just wanted to put layers over it I'm gonna go a little bit slower with this one and make more of soft layers in here and start bringing up the vibrancy of the blue and the gem it's okay if you go over the edge I don't I don't think it matters that much. I'm going to move this up here. And I'm going to go around and make sure that I get all the edges in. And if you think that the yellow gets covered up too much or anything else, you can always go back in and do another layer with just the yellow. You know, do the yellow on top, bring it out more. Personally, I like to go over all of the yellow and make it kind of fade into the blue so here we have it like that looks very greenish I think which I like I think a lot of turquoise has green in it I mean if you wanted to go use some greens in here you definitely could I don't see why not at all like I said this is just the way that I do it if you have another way you like to do it awesome you should make a video show me how because I love learning and I like learning how to do new ways of things and uh, all that jazz okay so I'm just kind of going in and darkening some of this all right I kind of want to make this since that's where my light is gonna hit a little bit lighter so, I'm going to leave it kind of where it's at and not put too much over that in terms of our next color, which is 536, if I can find it over here in my colors. And this one is more of, as you can see, it's a little bit more green than these two blues, which is what I think is really awesome. And I'm going to go around the edges first. And I mean like part way into the middle too. But I'm going to go around the edges and give them a little bit more depth. Excuse me, I have the hiccup. And start to make it feel like it's more of a 3D thing and not so much of a flat surface. And honestly, by the way, I'm sure you can hear the pencil, but I'm not pushing that hard. I'm really not. Um, you kind of get to pushing a little bit harder as you layer up some of these colors, which is fine. 
you just don't want to go so hard that you like burnish the paper and like push down all of the tooth so you can't make more layers basically um, and I don't find that there's any real limit to layers when I use marker fiends because I generally have a very light hand when I use these so here you go and see how it kind of gives it the feel of coming off the paper a little bit now okay this is where my gray comes in that I grabbed and it's 567 over here and what I've done is and this is where my lights hitting over here but what I'm going to go around and do is use it as a very soft layer around all my edges and just kind of darken them a little bit more especially down and over here because if my lights hitting here then this part of the rounded stone is going to be more in shadow and so that's what I want to show and it, it helps with the illusion of the gem which is honestly all gems are when we're creating them is illusions illusions on paper of what a 3d object looks like which I think is really cool and there's quite a few grays in the uh, marker or fiends 567 is one that's kind of a bluish or cooler gray so I, I like that but yeah I'm gonna kind of go pretty deep with the with the shadow um, over here and bring it up a little bit more than I am other places as well as down here I'm gonna make this pretty decently dark and bring it around this edge and I just want to make sure that the edges kind of go away they recede back into the paper back away from your eye and we're going to bring it up here and then we're going to stop so there we have it like that like I said this is very rough and so if you want to go in and you want to smooth it out, feel free. You can either go up, you can you can even go up and grab one of the lighter, oops, don't want to move my light, options, the 532, and go in and actually smooth out some of this if you want to. Um, I find that it's one of the softer ones, and so you can just go in and use it just on the top and smooth out some of the um, pencil lines so that you don't see those as much. See? There we go. So that's something you can do if you want. You could use a white actually if you wanted to. Like I said there's many options that you can do. If you want to use a white and maybe bring some mm -hmm, maybe we'll just do it. Maybe bring some of what looks like um, some reflected light over here like off the uh, curvature of the stone you know you can you can do that now the marker or fiend white as you can see is not real great it gives it's not very opaque it's great for blending it's just not very opaque for the stone itself like to cover up other things but i think it gives kind of that little bit of show of it all and then we're going to go in and I'm going to use my darker green that I would not darker green 536 that I was using and I'm going to do another layer over most of the stone I want to bring the color make it more intense um, one of the other things is this looks a little bit different from what I put on the tutorial because no two pieces of turquoise are going to look alike. Because so anytime you do anything, it's not going to be exactly the same. It's going to be a little bit smoother since it's also on cardstock. But this is the one I like. I like the way that looks for the most part. Um, what I want to do now, so I think I want to make the edges even 
even darker, actually. So I'm going to take my black and really go very, very gently over the edges of it and make it go back even more. Um, I really want the look that it's going into the setting that it's in, like the, um, as if the cabochon, which is a flat, round-topped gem, jewel, stone, uh, that's just the shape that they call it, is really going back into its setting, and there's shadow all along it, so that's what I'm doing. And it's just the way I, I like to make gems look. And if you're wanting to know like how I figure out how to do gems and whatnot, I watch YouTube videos, um, I find tutorials online, um, I do lots of things in order to figure out how to do gems. I look at tons and tons of pictures of whatever it is that I want to, to draw or to color and try and figure out ways to make that happen on paper. A lot of my research is the actual gems, not always just looking as to see if somebody else has already done it. Um, that's just the way I like to do it. Uh, there's a couple of other tutorials that I know about online that are really awesome. So I will see if I can link those below. I'm just going back over with the medium tone, the 537, so that's more of a lighter one, I guess. Because I don't want it to look so blackish. I want it to look like it's a, a blue or a light blue that's blending into it. Dark blue. So. Maybe go back over here to my dark blue. Really get this to blend in. Like I said, I love layers and I love making them just sitting here and trying to make it look like an actual stone. And I like that a lot, actually. And if you like it, great. If this is not your dream, then that's okay. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed it. And the last thing I'm going to do go around and use my gel pen and give it some highlights. And like I said, I wanted the um, light source to mostly be coming from over here, but you're going to see light hitting it just about everywhere. And it's just our main one's going to be over here. My gel pen does not want to gel today for some reason. It does over here, but... Maybe it will behave later. I don't know. So, here we go. Um, you see lights hitting all over it, just depending on where your light sources are and where they're coming from. Mine is mostly where I wanted it to be over here. So, and now my shadows over here. So, there's my shark voice, and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to go back over with black or yellows or any of the other colors, go for it. Make it yours. So I hope you enjoyed this and see you next time.